In this video, we're going to show you how to replace a catalytic converter on your Honda Accord. This will be located on the front of the motor. Let's get started. Using a 13 millimeter wrench, we're going to loosen the nut for the negative terminal. Pull the negative terminal off of the battery, put it off to the side where it won't make contact with the terminal. Using a 10 millimeter socket, remove the bolt for the coolant tank. Remove the bolt, remove the overflow hose, pull the coolant tank straight up and put it off to the side. Remove the connector for the fan, push on the tab, pull straight back, remove the connector. Down on the side of the fan, using a pair of pliers, we're going to squeeze this plastic clip and then pull it out through the front. Pulling the harness off of the fan. We're going to remove this connector off of the bracket. To do that, we're going to push on this tab right here. It'll push down, releasing the lock. As we push down, we're going to pull up on that connector. Pull straight up and pull that connector off of the bracket right there. Using a 10 millimeter socket, remove the two top bolts for the fan. You can reach down behind the fan to access the 10 millimeter bolt. We're going to loosen that bolt. In our case, we're going to have to drop the splash shield because it's so rotted. We're going to need to be able to get a better bite on it. Remove the plastic clips in the front for this bottom splash shield. In our case, we only have a zip tie, so we're going to cut our zip tie off, let our panel drop down, and now we'll have access to the bottom of the fan. There's a 10 millimeter bolt on the bottom of the fan. We're going to loosen this, but we don't need to remove it. Remove the fan assembly. Using a flat blade screwdriver, twist the plastic clips and remove the plastic cover. Push on the tab for the connector. Pull straight out. Remove the O2 sensor connector. Using a 22 millimeter O2 socket, we're going to remove the O2 sensor from the top of the manifold. Remove the sensor. We're going to remove the plastic stays for the bottom O2 sensor. In the back, we're going to use a flat blade screwdriver and push on the plastic tab as we pull it out of this metal bracket. There should be one located farther down on this metal bracket. Ours is broken. If you have it, go ahead and pop that one off as well. Pinch the connector, the release is right here. Pull straight up, remove it. And we're gonna remove this connector from the metal bracket. There's gonna be a tab on this backside. Push that tab towards the connector and then push down, removing it from the metal bracket. We're gonna push that harness all the way down. Using a 14 millimeter socket, we're gonna remove the three nuts for the bottom of the cat pipe. Moving on to the other side, there's going to be two more. <laughs> Using a 12 millimeter socket, we're going to remove the four nuts on top for the converter. I'm going to break all of these free and then get them totally off with a electric. Mm -hmm. 
Remove the four nuts. Slide the converter pipe forward off of the studs. Drop the converter down and rest it on the subframe. We're going to remove these top two studs to remove the pipe. We're going to use a stud extractor. Remove the stud. If you don't have a stud extractor, you could use a double nut method. You could use two of the nuts that came off, threading one on backwards. Threading one onto the front, having the two flats face each other. We'll use two 12 millimeter wrenches and tighten the nuts down onto each other. And then use that bottom nut to remove the stud. Loosen the nuts from each other and remove them off the stud. Remove the connector for the middle coil. Using a six millimeter hex head, we're gonna remove the coil bolt. Pop the coil out of place, pull it straight out. Remove the catalytic converter, being very careful of the radiator as you pull it out. Using a 22 millimeter socket, we're going to remove the O2 sensor. Go around, removing the four bolts for the heat shield using a 10 millimeter socket. The two back brackets were broke for us. Remove any of the studs that were on the bottom of the catalytic converter. We only had one. We're going to use a stud extractor. Now that we have all of our studs removed, we're going to grab the new catalytic converter. Install the heat shields around it. We're going to use new hardware on ours since the old was no good. If you need to, you can make modifications to the heat shield. It's a very soft metal, so you can just drill right through it. I'm going to install my bolts on either side. Get the nut started. You should have two more down at the bottom, but our heat shields are rotted out on both sides. We're gonna snug down these fronts. Get the bolts nice and snug. Install the bottom O2 sensor. Work the O2 sensor to 36 foot-pounds. We've removed all of the stuck nuts that were on the studs. You can put them in a vise and then heat them up, take the nut off, or you could use like a double nut method and then pull it off. We're going to install all three into the pipe.
Using a stud installer or the double nut method, we're going to snug these down into the pipe. We want to get them bottomed out and tight. It'll bottom out around this collar. Remove the gasket. Using a light abrasive, we're going to clean up the surface. We're also going to reach down and clean up the surface for the bottom gasket. We're going to put the bottom exhaust gasket down. Install the converter down. We're going to leave it resting down there for now while we install our three studs. Get all of the studs started. I'm going to use our stud installer to snug these down. Bottom out that collar and get it nice and snug. Repeat that same process for the next two. After tightening all of the studs, we're going to install the gasket. We're going to lift up on our catalytic converter. We're going to drop the three studs into that bottom. Now we're going to hinge it forward and get it started on the top. Make sure that your O2 sensor is going behind this motor mount right here. Be very careful with the radiator at this point. We don't want to hit it at all. We don't want to cause a leak. Get those bottom studs started. Once we have those bottom studs lined up, we're gonna push forward on the top. Get the four nuts started. Snug down the four nuts. Torque the top converter bolts to 23 foot-pounds. We're going to go in a cross pattern. Reach down and grab the O2 sensor. Pull it up to the metal bracket. Pull it onto the bracket, being sure it clicks into place. And then install the plastic stays into the metal brackets traveling down. Install the connector. Push until you hear a click. If you don't hear a click, give it a pull. Make sure it's locked on. Install the coil pack. Get the bolt started. Using a six millimeter hex bit, we're gonna to torque the bolt to 8.7 foot pounds. Install the connector. Push until you hear a click. If you don't, give it a pull. Make sure it's locked on. Install the upstream O2 sensor. Snug it down. Torque the sensor to 33 foot-pounds. Install the connector. Push until you hear a click. If you don't, give it a pull. Make sure it's locked on. There should be a plastic stay going to this metal bracket right here. 
Ours is missing, so it's just gonna float. We could use a zip tie to tie it up. Install the plastic cover. Twist the clips. Lock them into place. Install the fan down into place. When we drop it in, we're gonna drop this bracket on the stud that's down there. Install the two top bolts. Snug the bolts down. And torque them to eight foot pounds. Do the same thing on the bottom bolt. We're gonna reach down through the top and snug this bolt down. Torque it to eight foot-pounds. If you can't get a torque wrench on it, do the best you can. Install the nuts for the studs on bottom. Get them all started. Snug the bolts down. Torque the nuts to 40 foot-pounds. Go through and attach all of the clips for the splash shield. We're gonna re-zip tie ours back up. We'll go through and put a few more on here. And on the bottom, we're gonna attach the connector to the bracket. Make sure it's fully locked on. Install the plastic stay into the bracket. Install the fan connector. Push until you hear a click. If you don't, give it a pull. Make sure it's locked on. Install the coolant reservoir. Get the bolt started in front. Snug the bolt down. Install the hose on top of the reservoir. Install the negative battery cable. Snug down the terminal. Give it a wiggle, make sure it doesn't move, and you're good to go. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.